What's up, y'all? So story times are a bit of a staple on this channel. And I have this story I didn't tell y'all from back in 2023. And that's because it happened during that like two month span where I just wasn't uploading at all. So here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready to hear this story? It's a crazy story. I went to a wedding. <laughs> and yeah, that's all I had to say. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoy. I love my life. I like them girls, but I love my wife. No, but seriously, I never went to a wedding after party before in my life, or at least like that I remember. And now that I'm grown, I was able to go to one alone with my brother. And whenever I match up with my brother, it is inevitable that we show up late together every single time. It don't matter what it is. And usually it's because of him, but this time I took the blame. But it actually ended up working out in our favor. Because by the time we got to the wedding, that the party, it happened to be cocktail hour. The literal best part. The best part of any wedding. If you haven't been to one before, the best part of the wedding is the cocktail hour. Eat all the food, drink all the drinks. That is when to get lit. That is when to eat the food. It's so good. And everyone was already lit. But this is where the kicker to the story comes in. My brother and I went to a lesbian wedding. Do you know what that means? Let me set the stage for you in case it hasn't like registered in your mind yet. Growing up, there's a natural tendency when making friends. Guys will always be in the playground playing sports, tag, whatever with the dudes. And the girls will always be with the females, unless you're with me. I was just a magnet to the, the, the pussé. But let's stay on track. So if the couple is two females, and the couple are the people who are sending out the invites, you see where I'm going with this? Most of, and I'm talking like 80 to 90% of the party, will be females. And that was the exact case. So me and Jay walk in this room, not even thinking of that possibility beforehand, because we were so stressed to try and make it there on time, didn't even make it on time. And when we walk in, we just see the room in two. Left side, it was beautiful Asian females, beautiful Asian family. Right side, beautiful Portuguese ladies, beautiful Portuguese female family. And I'm there. I I was in the right spot, blood. I couldn't believe my luck. I, it was the greatest mix of all time. You're beautiful. So as you know, if you've never been to a wedding, cocktail hour finished up, then the slow dances got going, then you start munching on the food, all that good stuff. And then the dance floor started heating up. I'm a couple mini shields deep at this point. You know, DJ's playing fire music, the vibes are right, and the beat drop hits, and there's fireworks just booming into the sky. I'm like, oh my God. And then I bring my eyes back to eye level. I see the smoke is shooting pouring out smoke. I started looking around. I, was like, I thought Mbappe was gonna walk out. It was like I was experiencing a flipping walkout in EAFC. But yeah, we was dancing with the shorties. We was chatting with the shorties. We was having fun with the shorties. I'ma leave the story at that, you dig? I'ma leave the, the rest up for interpretation, for y'all's imagination to branch out to what happened. W night. I just wanted to warn y'all because there's a moral to every KMA story time. And the moral of this one, I'll put up a graph on the screen for you. The more females equates to more fun. So I hope every single one of my subscribers get to experience a grand phenomenon like that because I've never seen so, so many females in the room at once. I think the, the, the ratio it was the opposite of a sausage fest. The ratio was actually like six to one females. Wait, but KMA, that's impossible. Exactly. But yeah, I hope everyone had a happy and God-filled new year. We lit, we going to the moon this year. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it like deep, deep in my chest, in my heart, in my soul. I feel some, some blessing coming crazy, not just for me, but for KMA squad. So hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And we out to the moon. I'll catch y'all. Peace. I've been on the road for a hundred nights. I love my life. I like them girls, but I love my wife. I'll jump out of the car, bro. Day for my niggas do dirt. Cause I love my guys. Like fuck them. It's like fuck them guys.